In his speech, he said that people used to be silenced because speaking would sometimes lead them to losing their heads. And he made his speech an example. It's a speech worthy of losing your head too. <laughs> I'm going to start by rehearsing the things you were supposed to improve on, which are pronunciation, body language, preparation, and organization. Now, to be fair, in your body language, it was amazing, it was fantastic, that starting with a shh was perfect. Ooh. However, often, after going with a shh, you didn't pause enough to allow them to, like you said, like, did you hear that? No, we didn't. <laughs> we thought we did, but we didn't. It was so planned that you were like, shh, did you hear that? No, we just said, shh, give it a pause. It's okay to go a little bit slower, okay? Now, even though it was a very eye-catching, attention-requiring moment, I really liked it. Over in your speech, you were really active. That was amazing. Your hands are being moving and so on. That's very good. I like how your body language improved. I would consider it an improvement, and I believe that if anybody watched his previous speeches, he would also consider it an improvement. Now, to the bad parts, my favorites. Um, didn't actually, did you actually calculate the timing? Kind of. I kind tried. of. I tried. Now, this is very smart because he put himself in a position of confidence. It's like, I am smart enough to do this calculation, which really gained your attention a little bit make you look up to him, because none of us really can do that calculation, can we? <laughs> now, another thing, um, when you put the audience interaction part, you made it go for too long. You asked the question, and then the audience started bouncing the answers between them for too long. Now, while you're on stage, you're in control. You want to maintain control. And once you give that question, you want to try to control and regulate who gives the answers. However, you need to slip a bit. Another thing, can you please stand up? Now, his speech was given from here, which is bad. I'm talking about public speaking. However, it gave me a very good chance to look up how fine this is. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time I was observing it. And I, I, I swear to God, I can draw it by now. It's fantastic. Half of the room is around, it's behind you. Give them some of your attention. We are here to listen to you, appreciated by giving us some attention. Okay, but... Um, <laughs> no, 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 Lists are very important because when you want to list things, it's a very good method of organizing, which is something you were supposed to improve on. However, you're so amazing, you are capable of making lists messy. Which is amazing. It's an organization method that you use to make it a total chaos. You went one, two, three, then one, two. And I didn't catch that. However, what I would go ahead and do, do your list and say, around these, what I feel are the most important are these two. The reason is one, two, three. Give your list reasons after listing the ones you want to emphasize on. Don't give it while emphasizing because it seems to me like you repeated some points you already said. Uh, last but not least, notes should be organized a little bit better because you lost track of your notes at the beginning and it led to the worst thing you can say on the stage, which is never mind. So, never mind. Thank you. <laughs>